Imagine you have a teenager. You leave at home with their infant little brother for a couple of hours. And then when you return to the house, it looks like a tornado hit it on the inside. And when you ask what happened, they blame it on their infant brother. I said, man, they crazy. You said, but they can't even walk. But I know, but have you seen them with a bottle? It's madness. So you said, you know what? I'll let it go and you clean up the mess. But then it happens 10 more times. And every time they blame the little brother and you Clean it up. This is exactly how it feels being with a narcissist. They absolutely refuse to take any responsibility for the messes they make in your life. But instead, they will blame you or anyone else for their toxic behavior. Then when you say, but how was it my fault? That's when, oh, the bully comes out. And to keep the peace, you apologize for something you didn't even do. But now, this keeps happening throughout the relationship. How many times can you carry their baggage before it completely weighs you down? But guess what? They don't care because all they're going to do is keep piling up their sandbags on your back. They're, while they're free to run, you can barely crawl. But guess what? You know what? It's time for the teenager to be held responsible to clean up their own mess. The boundary has to be you're no longer taking responsibility for their toxic behavior. No matter how they huff and they puff, they can't blow this house down. But guess what? You're not going to say a word other than repeat this simple phrase. This is your responsibility. And then remove yourself from the conversation. Narcs can't get supply when you're not around to take the abuse. And don't you dare clean up their mess and you watch what happens. Uh huh. They will magically have to do it themselves. Hey, they may complain about it, but guess what? You don't care. Hey, does a tree make a sound when nobody's around? Hey, I don't know because I'm not there to hear it. See, but the true end game is actually to never be around to be blamed in the first place. This means no contact, which is the ultimate way to hold them responsible because you won't be around to blame or take responsibility for their actions. Now, you may be saying, Doc, oh my God, I got so many bags on my back. Crawling would be a luxury. I can't even sit up. Don't you worry about it, okay? I'll tell you what you do. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org, schedule your free 30-minute consultation so you and I can have that conversation. And I'm going to tell you how coaching is going to help you lighten your load and get you free. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share. Take care. Peace.